happy Father's Day. I won't be buying a car this year because I couldn't find one suitable for the father who was not there to watch me grow, to support me. When I was six, he took me to McDonald's. We sat at the back, happy meal in front of me. He looked into my eyes and he said, when we die, we are going to different places because you've chosen not to follow Islam. Now, every time I see a happy meal, I associate it with death. At my cousin's birthday, we were stood around this huge, spectacular chocolate cake and was about to sing, happy birthday. But he removed me from the room because singing was a devil sound and eating birthday cake was the equivalent of watching pornography. If you had seen him in the streets, you would have called him an Islamic extremist. Yet I had to call him dad. If he were here right now, he'd be saying, remember how I took you to dinner once? Remember how I've taken to the park a few times? Remember that one sports day I showed up to and ran the parents race? The problem was he'd shown up to be seen. Yet I still had to call him dad. But I have come to realize that he is my father. He played his part in creating me and focused his attention and efforts elsewhere. Just like 7 million other people in the UK. Many children without a father in the home often truant lessons, experience mental health issues, and develop drug addictions. Many of these children will also grow up to leave their kids too. It's a cycle we need to break. So to my father, I want to thank you for teaching me to be patient during the times I waited for you to show up. Thank you for teaching me to be independent. If there was a card for absent fathers, then you would be the very best. Happy Father's Day, but you're out of a job.